Okay, so um, in the previous example, uh, we were looking at um, uh, this function uh, represented by a graph, and we had discovered uh, that the domain of this function uh, was um, uh, numbers uh, between uh, minus 7 and uh, 4. So numbers greater than or equal to minus 7, but at the same time less than or equal to 4. Um, and now um, in this example, we want to... Um, determine the range of this uh, same function. So that's the set of output values um, for the function as opposed to the set of input numbers. Um, now, um, in trying to determine the range, uh, it's very easy to be uh, sort of misled um, by uh, the way the graph is drawn and uh, want to focus your attention on uh, the endpoints of the graph. Uh, so you might assume then that um, uh, the range of the graph would be uh, numbers between uh, minus 3 on the y-axis because that's the y-coordinate that corresponds to this left endpoint on the graph, and then um, minus 8 um, on the y-axis because that's the y-coordinate uh, that corresponds to this um, right endpoint on the graph. So you might as as mistakenly assume uh, that the range is going to be uh, numbers between um, negative 8 and uh, minus 3. Um, but now that's not correct because actually uh, notice that the uh, output values uh, for this function extend uh, further up the y-axis. Uh, minus 2, for instance, is going to be an output value uh, from this function. Minus 1 is going to be an output value from this function. And in fact, our output values would extend all the way up to 0 uh, on the y-axis. It appears that the maximum output uh, from this uh, function is uh, 0. Um, that's the output that corresponds to an input here of, um, uh, this appears to be minus uh, 4 uh, on the x-axis. So um, the range is actually a little bit larger uh, than uh, uh, what it uh, would appear if you just focus your attention on uh, the left and the right endpoints here uh, of the graph. So in fact, um, the maximum output uh, value uh, from this uh, function appears to be 0. Again, that corresponds to an input of minus 4. And uh, the minimum output value uh, from this uh, function corresponds um, uh, is minus 8. Uh, that corresponds to an input uh, value of 4. And so actually, um, uh, the range for this function uh, is uh, minus 8. Um, up to zero. So we can have output values from this uh, function uh, from minus 8 um, on the y-axis all the way up to zero uh, on the y-axis. So um, here's how we can write uh, the range um, for this function. Um, output values uh, for this function would be y values uh, greater than or equal to minus 8. Minus 8 is the minimum output value um, from this function. Um, and then all the way up to uh, zero, that's going to be the maximum output uh, value. So our range would be numbers uh, greater than or equal to minus eight, uh, but at the same time, uh, less than or equal to uh, zero.